So in this video, we're going to go over how you can install Crew AI in less than five minutes. And with this particular Crew AI project, you're going to basically be able to figure out a 30 day business plan for any kind of business that you might be interested in. Now, for this kind of tutorial, what's great about it is that you don't actually have to install anything in your computer. We're going to be using this on a Google Colab notebook. It's basically Google Docs, but instead of just running a Word document, they can actually run Python code. And I'm going to give you a link to this, to a copy of this document, which you're just going to have to, once you click the link, you're just going to go to file and then you're going to click save copy and drive. This is going to make you your own copy, save to your own Google drive. And you're going to be able to run it the same way that I do on this video. Now, once you open up this page on your, once you open up this page on your computer, all you're going to have to do is click these little play buttons on the left. And what this is going to do is it tells the notebook to download these specific commands that we're giving it. The first command is just to download the code for the project. The second command and the rest of them is really just to install all of the Python libraries that we need in order to run the project. Once you have all your little check marks on here, which again is going to take you less than five minutes, all you have to do is click the one at the very bottom, which is Python main.py. And that's when it's going to run your crew AI project again geared towards helping you figure out a 30 day plan for whatever business you, for whatever business you give it a name for. In this case, um, you know, when it starts, it tells you, welcome to a business automation crew setup. What business do you seek to build today? And then for this one, I just put doggy daycare. And as you can see here in this process at the bottom, this is where crew AI starts having those conversations within it within its eight within its various agents trying to figure out you know the best way to get the information that you need to resolve this problem now i think a big part of the value of kui is not just that it can have these conversations but basically it does all of the complex you know dialogue for you in terms of trying to figure out these problems you know that seems like a very generic question just saying you know putting that you want to know how to open a doggy daycare. But because of the way that these agents are written out, it does, you know, a different level of research in order to get you useful, valuable information. And as you can see here, it starts building out this, you know, 30 day, this 30 day plan that you can implement for your, for whatever business you end up giving it really. And if you want to edit any of this code, all you have to do um, from within your goal, within your Google Colab notebook is click the files folder right here. This is going to show you where the code was downloaded. And you all you have to do is click basically the, the agents file. And this, op this opens it up right here. And within this file, this is where you can edit out the description of what you want your agents to do. So really anything between these quotations with these quotations or these names here is where your agents are being described. In this case, for this project, it's only using these two agents. And as far as your tasks go, here's where you get all the details for your task, what each task is supposed to do and what the output is supposed to be. So again, anything you see in red within here, you can pretty much play with, you can edit the way you want. The only thing you do have to do, the only thing you do have to leave in is this business type, um, you know, keyword right here. Cause again, if you say doggy daycare or hot dog stand or burger stand, this is how the agent is going to know what kind of business you're talking about. So make sure that you always leave this in here, but anything else, any other details, you can pretty much edit out, just click file, save, control, save once you're done with it. And whenever you run your project again, it'll take that new, you know, it'll take that new behavior from those edits that you did. And just to showcase and click the next year, it's going to get rid of this result and we're going to run the Korea AI project again. So we're going to click X here again. All these check marks mean is that this, the installation for this line already took place and it's working properly. So now we're going to do Python main.py. And one more thing I almost forgot in your main file, you do have to change your API key. Here it's just gonna be blank when you download it. So you do have to get your API key from OpenAI and then put it in there. So make sure you have that. And then you're just gonna click play here or run here. This 
this is where it asks you what business would you seek to build today. I'm just going to put a coffee shop. And then it's going to start, uh, you know, running, doing its thing. And once the project finishes running, guys, uh, we get to hear that not only did we get a 30 day plan for, you know, launching the coffee shop, but we actually get it broken down in different categories. So we have, you know, quality and sustainability. We have technology. We have targeted marketing efforts. And for all of these, I think it's really interesting how it's able to point out a lot of the details that I think are just probably not very obvious. You know, it wouldn't be obvious to me a lot of these like compliance things if that was my goal of what I want to do. I'm sure I would come across it when I started doing research. But I think other than that, this really just helps give you a very almost like clear cut and unbiased opinion. Not I'm not an opinion, but a very clear cut and unbiased plan as far as what's necessary in order to carry out, you know, this thing that you want to do. So that basically covers what I want to go over today as far as running Career AI on this, you know, quick Google Colab notebook. I'm still spending some time using some of the other parts and some of the other tools of Career AI. So we'll definitely have more content on that coming up next. But as far as this project goes, again, once you download this notebook, you'll be able to look at the code, you'll be able to edit the code yourself. And if you ever end up making any errors and maybe it doesn't run again, all you have to do is click the link at the description again and, and just go to file, save, copy and drive. And you'll have, you know, the same notebook as the original one, brand new, no, no defects, no mistakes. And you can just, you know, play with that again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next.